You are watching Endeavor TV with the Acer Aspire 1 532 um, taking apart. And first, let's take a look at the downside on the uh, on the at the bottom of this beautiful device. We have two huge plates which you can easily take off without vo um, voiding the guarantee, uh, your warranty. If you um, take this one off you will find the RAM, if you take this one off you will find even more innards but let's check it out as you can see I already removed all the screws this one has only one and if you don't want to um, sacrifice your fingernails just use a plastic card you don't want to use anymore like an old credit card or anything like that go under here take it off after you unscrew this one screw and take this plastic cover off which is actually a um, metallic um, get um, yeah metal look uh, metallic look inside and you can see right away here we have a one gig Kingston RAM which you can easily take out by um, releasing it here on the sides these metal arms you just have to push them outside and then your RAM already pops out like this Kingston one gig DDR2 667 megahertz sodium RAM is what you can find in here you can also buy 800 megahertz, um, 2 gig maximum um, sodium notebook RAM. Just ask your salesperson. If you want to put it back in again, make sure to have the short side to the left and just plug it in here till you don't see the golden um, um, connectors anymore and push it to the ground. And then after the arms. Um, get back in the middle you can yeah it's already done so if you want to change your hard drive to an SSD or do anything um, or do anything more with the device you have to take out another three screws right here pretty easy you still didn't void your warranty take off the plastic plate put it to, to your side you can see here we have a 250 gig hard drive um, a wireless chip with uh, some kind of MAC address and here on this side let me show it to you we have another PCI Express slot where you can add a short SSD or I don't know a UMTS um, 3G modem or anything you want and want to build so that's pretty easy you just have to put this cable a little bit aside and you can put in anything you want in here so that's pretty neat then if you want to go even further and take the whole thing apart you have to unscrew um, 15 screws here on the bottom here all around after you do that don't forget these two because after that you have to take off the keyboard now I already did that and you have to open the whole thing up take a plastic card it's going to be pretty hard put it in here between the case and the keyboard Go in here, pop up the keyboard like that, unplug the keyboard cable right here. Take um, away the keyboard, you can actually change it, uh, change your layout from German to English or from English to German with the same method um, if you buy a keyboard just by itself anywhere else. And you will see here the innards, we have the fan right here and two more plugs you have to unplug for the main board and you have to unscrew another seven screws in here so it's 22 screws at the end you have to get rid of and then you just have to start pulling it up the whole plastic thing here it's not going to be it's not going to be as easy as it is with me right now because i didn't put it back fully but with some force you can take the whole cover just off like that and then you can already see here the complete inside of this device um, now you only need to do that if you want to add your SIM card reader maybe here because this place is that uh, that's what this is for and maybe you want to add some internal USB thingies but yeah you don't need really to do that so this is the Acer Aspire 1 532 from inside if you want to put it back together it's the same steps just put on the cover press it down put back in the seven screws put in the keyboard fold it down now you, of course i'm just going to the quick steps here right now and then you have to put back on the covers put back in the another four screws 
and you should be all finished. Actually, what I forgot, you have another few screws, I think, here on the bottom. You have no, yeah, actually, yeah, on the side, you have to put in back the screws, the other 15, and then no, 12, and then you are actually done. What I didn't tell you before is. Um, before you take apart the whole thing to just get the hard drive out, the hard drive is going to be pretty easy. You just have to push it back and then you can take it out already. It doesn't have any extra screws. It's not that loud. It's a Seagate 250GB hard drive. Pretty good one, but the fan of this Acer 532H is pretty noisy. So let's put in back the hard drive. Just like that. Ah, oh, come on. There we go, and then let's put on back the covers, so I can do the whole procedure in German again. Just like, well not just like that, it's here, there, put on the cover, put on this cover. Nah, come on. What did I do wrong? There we go. Put in back all the screws and you are all finished with your Acer Aspire 1 532 upgrading. I'm Balazs Gal from Endeavor TV. Check out more videos for the Acer Aspire 1 and any other netbook on endeavor.com and Endeavor TV on YouTube. Thank you for watching.